This is the Obedient Squirty Bottle Experiment. Now you're gonna see why it's called that by the end of the experiment. But what you're gonna need is a plastic bottle. I don't recommend anything bigger than this, so about a litre to a litre and a half, a plastic bottle. Probably best if you remove the labels, you don't need to, but as you can see, I've left a bit of the glue on this one just to show you a little bit inside, but you can leave the label on, that works okay. The important thing is you have a clear part where you can stick some pins in it. So I'm gonna put my pins in it around the bottom as you're gonna see. So the pins, you've got a choice really. I tend to use these little pins which have a little plastic ball on the end. Um, some people call these dressmaking pins, not that I make too many dresses these days. And you can also use instead, if you can't find any of these, ordinary sewing needles, they work fine. You can see I've got a pair of pliers here because sometimes when you go and do this, you might find it easier to hold the needle that you're using with the pliers. For example, one way of doing this is to hold the needle like this and get your pliers and grip the needle like that and hold it firmly with the pliers. Some people prefer to do it that way and they find it a bit easier and possibly a bit safer. Probably a good thing to think about, but I'll leave you to decide the best way for you. I've done this quite a few times, so I'm actually gonna use just the dressmaking pin because I'm gonna push with my thumb against the little ball. And as long as you do it sensibly, you'll be fine. So, you need to make some holes in the plastic bottle. So watch carefully. I'm gonna make mine around the bottom. I'm gonna put quite a few in and just push the pin in a little bit and pull it out again. Okay, and I'm gonna go around, make a few, two, three, four, five. I might make a few more actually in the gaps. One, two, three, four, five. So we have 10 holes, wonderful. Now remember the holes, we can't see them easily now, but they are around here, aren't they? You notice I made them below that line, which I think you can just about see. Now, I'm gonna remove the lid, and I'm gonna pour some water into this bottle. You'll notice I've got a bowl here, and it's lots of water already, and I'm actually gonna be lowering that into the water. Obviously at the moment it'll push it back out, because it'll float. But I'm gonna get some water from this big bottle here. I'll lay that there just for a second. Take the lid from this one. And I'm gonna pour the water from that big bottle into this smaller one while holding the bottle flat against the bowl like this. Now, of course, I'm using a bowl that you could use the sink at home for this, that's fine. And probably best to find somewhere where it doesn't get too messy. And if it does get too messy, it doesn't matter. You can wipe it up easily. It is only water, remember. So, I'm happy with that. Then I get my lid. And I put my lid on and do it up tight. Now, make sure it's tight. And what I want you to do is remove the bottle from the water first. Now straight away you can see something quite interesting. No water's coming out. What I want you to do is while holding the bottle like this, I want you to undo that lid again and remove it and see what happens. So, this is what I hope you noticed. Undo the lid, and straight away, we have water coming out. Do the lid up again, and it stops. So, why should it, first of all, not leak when you take it out of the water like that? Remember, the holes are there. You saw me make them. There was 10 holes. They're definitely still there. And how come it leaks when you do undo the lid and we get a nice stream coming out there? I'd better do it up before we flood the studio. So, why is this? Well, this way first. When I removed it from the water, the water inside, of course, is trying to come out. It's trying to come out, not really thinking about it, of course, it doesn't think, as far as we know, but gravity is pulling on the water, and the water weighs something, so gravity is pulling on it, 
pulling it down into the bottle and of course it's bulging to escape through those holes. But clearly it doesn't seem to be able to do it right now. The reason is, is because the air surrounding this in this room right now is pushing up against this bottle and we call it atmospheric pressure. So that word or that expression comes from the atmosphere has pressure because of its weight. It's pushing up against the outside of this bottle and stopping the water escaping. One other thing is happening. We can't see this because this is pretty much microscopic almost, on this bottle anyway. We need a very good microscope or at least a very good magnifying glass to see this. Is the water is bulging to escape through those holes but it doesn't seem to be able to do it because where the water meets the air a little layer forms. We call it a meniscus and a meniscus is almost like a skin on the surface of the water. It isn't really a skin but it behaves a bit like a skin and it pulls in all directions and it helps keep that water in place. On its own it's not enough as you're going to see in a minute. On its own it's not enough but at the moment that meniscus layer does have the air pushing against it to keep it in place. Now, of course, when we undo the lid, what happens is air from outside, oh, stop flooding the studio again. Air from outside flows in through the gaps I made when I loosened the lid, the air flowed in and started pushing down on the inside as well. So now the weight of the water with the air from on above it was enough to push out push the air out of the way so it could actually escape through the holes. And that showed you that the little meniscus skin that I described over each hole actually isn't strong enough on its own. The water just pushed it out of the way and pushed it through. So what about some other things we could try and investigate to see what's going to happen? Well, you saw where I made the holes on this bottle all around the bottom. Pretty obviously, we could think about making the holes in different places, couldn't we? So maybe holes up the side and around in different places. What about using pins or needles of different size? Now you remember earlier on I mentioned that we could use sewing needles. Now sewing needles, as you can see for here, do come in different sizes and different thicknesses. So perhaps we could try different thickness holes. You don't have to use things like this. You could use maybe a drawing pin or a small nail to make holes, or even a big nail if you want to. Because that's a question in itself, isn't it? I wonder what's the biggest hole we could make and the water still wouldn't leak through. That's a really interesting question. Bigger than you think, really interesting. What about different size bottles? You can see this is the bottle which is about a litre to a litre and a half. What about tiny bottles? Do you think the same experiment would work, say, if we used a bottle that small or even smaller? Will it still work? One other thing worth thinking about, of course, is how we could hold this bottle. For example, I wonder what would happen if we now just, if I let go of it from here and gripped it here instead. Well, to be honest, this is one that really does have to be done outside. So here we are outside for the outdoor version. Remember the question, I wonder what would happen if we gave it a good squeeze and let go from the top. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do this. I'm going to ask a young helper to help me. Mr. Ozzy, would you like to come and help us in this experiment, please? And if you stand here for me, Ozzy. Very good. And turn around. We've got to look in that direction so everybody can see what you're going to do. And I'm going to give you this bottle and I want you to give it a good squeeze around the middle and let's see what happens. Over to you, Ozzy. Give it a good squeeze. I'm going to take it off me. You hold it. Give it a good squeeze. I think I'll stand back on this one. Squeeze. Well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 